To really understand why this discovery matters, we need to go back to where Perseverance is exploring. Jezero Crater. This huge impact site about 45 kilometers wide wasn't always dry and desolate. Billions of years ago it was home to a massive lake. Around 3.5 billion years ago, rivers flowed into Jezero, carrying minerals, sediments, and perhaps even the first ingredients needed for life. That's why NASA chose it as Perseverance's landing site. If life ever existed on Mars, Jezero was one of the best places to look. In February 2021, Perseverance touched down after its daring landing sequence. Since then, the rover has been drilling into rocks, collecting samples, and scanning the Martian surface with state-of-the-art instruments. But the heart of its mission is surprisingly simple. Gather rock cores that can one day be brought back to Earth. Each sample is like a time capsule, preserving Martian history that has been locked away for billions of years. The latest findings come from a formation called Bright Angel, an ancient river channel known as Naretva Vallis. Here, Perseverance drilled into a rock nicknamed Chayava Falls, and extracted a core now called Sapphire Canyon. Inside this tiny cylinder of stone, scientists found something extraordinary. Tests revealed the presence of organic molecules, the carbon-based building blocks of life as we know it. Alongside them, Perseverance detected unusual minerals, vivianite, a type of phosphate, and grégite, a type of sulfide. On Earth, these minerals often appear where water once flowed, and sometimes they even form in connection with microbial activity. Adding to the intrigue, scientists noticed strange textures in the rock, patterns resembling leopard spots and circular rings. These could be just geological quirks, but some researchers believe they look strikingly similar to biosignatures, traces left behind by microbial processes. So what exactly is a biosignature? It's any chemical, mineral, or physical feature that might have been created by life. On Earth, biosignatures include things like fossilized microbial mats, unique chemical ratios, or certain minerals that only exist because of biology. The challenge is that chemistry alone can mimic many of these signs. That's why NASA is being extremely careful. They aren't claiming life has been discovered. What they're saying is, we've found potential biosignatures that deserve serious investigation. The excitement comes from the combination itself. Organics, minerals often linked to water and biology, and unusual textures, all together in one sample. On Earth, when we see this trio, it usually points to biological activity. Could Mars have followed the same path? That's the big question. It's worth remembering that Mars wasn't always the barren desert we see today. Billions of years ago, the planet had flowing rivers, standing lakes, and perhaps even an ocean. Its atmosphere was thicker, its climate warmer and more stable. If life ever had a chance to arise beyond Earth, Mars was a prime candidate. But here's the catch. None of this is conclusive. Vivianite and Grégite can form without biology. Organic molecules are exciting but they can also be produced by non-living chemistry. And those leopard spot textures could simply be natural mineral growths. Until the samples are returned to Earth and examined with the full power of modern laboratories, we cannot say for certain if these are genuine signs of life. That's why the upcoming Mars sample return mission is so critical. NASA and the European Space Agency are working on a complex plan to retrieve Perseverance's rock cores in the 2030s. If successful, it will mark the first time we've brought pieces of another planet back to Earth. With those samples in hand, scientists will be able to run the most sensitive tests imaginable, looking for isotopic fingerprints, microfossils, and chemical traces that could confirm or disprove the biological origin of what Perseverance has found. And this matters far beyond Mars itself. Because if life arose independently on both Earth and Mars, then life might not be rare at all. It could be a common outcome whenever the right conditions are present. That would flip our perspective on the universe completely. Earth would no longer look like a one in a trillion accident but rather one of many worlds where life takes root. Now before we let our imaginations run wild with talk of aliens or Martian civilizations, it's important to set expectations. The evidence so far at best suggests ancient microbial life, simple bacteria-like organisms. There's no sign of intelligent life, no Martian cities, no lost civilizations. Still, even proof of a single microbe on Mars, long extinct, would be one of the most significant discoveries in the history of science. So where does this leave us? We stand at a crossroads between thrilling possibility and sobering caution. What perseverance uncovered in that tiny Martian rock could be a faint echo from a time when Mars harbored life, or it might just be another line in its geological record, written by chemistry alone. Either way, the discovery forces us to wrestle with some of humanity's biggest questions. Billions of years ago, 
Mars may have looked very different. Rivers cut through the landscape, deltas fanned out into vast lakes, and perhaps a shallow ocean stretched across its northern hemisphere. Its skies were thicker, warmer, and alive with volcanic activity. In other words, it wasn't just habitable. It might have been downright welcoming for microbes. And at the very same time, 3.5 billion years ago, Earth was already buzzing with early life. If both planets had the same conditions, why wouldn't life have started on Mars too? Maybe it did. Maybe for a time Mars was alive. When we talk about Martian life though, we're talking microbes. Small, resilient organisms that could have thrived in lake beds, river sediments, or beneath the surface. On Earth, microbes are masters of survival. They live in boiling hot springs, deep within the Antarctic ice, even kilometers underground where they feed on nothing but rock chemistry. If microbes can adapt to Earth's extremes, there's no reason to rule out Mars. That's what makes the discovery of organic compounds and minerals like vivianite and grigite so compelling. On our planet, these often appear alongside microbial activity in wet environments. Still, scientists remain careful. Every feature of perseverance detected could also have a non-biological explanation. And until those samples are tested back on Earth, every possibility remains open. The reason this discovery resonates so deeply is because it strikes at something universal. For as long as we've looked up at the night sky, we've asked, are we alone? Mars has always played a starring role in that question. Now, thanks to rovers, orbiters, and landers, the mystery is unraveling piece by piece. Each discovery nudges us closer to an answer, even if that answer turns out to be more complex than we ever imagined. In the coming years, Perseverance will keep drilling and collecting samples. Curiosity, its older cousin, continues exploring another region of the planet. NASA and ESA are preparing for the monumental task of bringing Martian rock home. Meanwhile, private ventures like SpaceX are pushing toward the dream of putting human boots on the red planet. If that happens, our search for life will enter a new chapter. With people on Mars armed with microscopes and labs, we'll be able to explore caves, cliffs, and underground ice in ways no robot ever could. So here we are, standing at the edge of one of the greatest scientific mysteries of all time. A tiny rock core drilled by a rover millions of kilometers away has reignited humanity's oldest question, are we alone in the universe? The evidence so far is fascinating, but far from final. What we know for sure is that our search is gaining momentum and with every mission, Mars becomes less silent, less distant and more a part of our shared human story. What do you think? Are these findings the first real hints of life on Mars or just a clever trick of geology? Would proof of a single microbe change how you see our place in the cosmos? Let us know in the comments and if you want to keep up with the latest discoveries from space, make sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. The story of life in the universe is just beginning, and the next chapter might be closer than we think.